Dang Street definitely isn't a desert when it comes to good food. And in this little oasis, you get Middle Eastern, Mediterranean and North African. Yum! Rock into the Casbah building and you'll find Kepos & Co and chef Michael Rantissi. The dough is a little bit softer than the normal pizza one, oh. so it is a bit more gentle. So we'll just it's softer stretch than Play-Doh. It. Ah. <laughs> I'm not sure that it compares to Play-Doh. <laughs> <laughs> We're making pide. Now for the filling. Yes. We'll what have we got here? Good spinach and halloumi with some dried mint. Fold it up. Oh. Ta-da! You've done a good job. Thank you, Michael. Beautiful. It's even nicer than mine. I know how to pinch. <laughs> OK, and into the wood fire oven we go. It's cooking. So I've got a couple of minutes to show you Michael's scorched eggplant dip. Yummo. Topped with pomegranate pearls, parsley, mint and olive oil. Potato tortellini filled with goat's curd with olives and asparagus. And how pretty is this? Veal and chicken liver pate with pomegranate jelly. They all go perfectly with pide. Oh, it is it's hot, hot. Woo. It is hot, but it is delicious. It's so hot, it's so hot. The food's got too much flavour to it, and the, um, you can taste the wood and, and then to the bread that has just been made. It's amazing. Dessert's amazing. Sesame cannoli roll filled with pistachio paste in a sea of strawberry pomegranate jelly. Drown me now. And this dish ticks all the main food groups. Chocolate, halva, macaroon and brownie. And what I love is there's an entire menu dedicated just to teas. Oh, a pide and a tea, that's good for me. Mm.